metropolis. It's the little things that really change a city's vibe. The weather, gentrification, the alien invasion. Task Force X, stop sightseeing and see if you can kill everything in sight. Got it? Hate to say it, but Waller's right. We got work to do. How did you three get split off this time? Hey! Wasn't my fault we got lost! Uh, this time? We should convene at the Daily Planet. It is a very central location. Still playing tour guide, Sharky. Love that. Come on, y'all, focus! We're game seven, last quarter out here! I do not know what this means. It seems like it would be very high pressure and stressful. Yeah. You lost me there too, Floydie. Oh, aren't you supposed to be a yank, Carls? Even I got the reference. Just don't get yourselves killed doing something basic. Well, you know Boomer. He's always basic. Boy! Wait! You're basic! See what I mean? Running too hot. Yeah. Just gotta do what I do best and land these shots. I ain't letting a little shield stop me. Just gotta use my jetpack to get around. to hit my targets. Just switch up the guns, slow breath, and... Clean, as always. Okay, I got this, I, I got it. Just can't panic. Airborne, afterburner, breathe, kickstart. Easy. Yeah, no, it's definitely easy. Targeting another resistor! 
don't always have to be about accuracy. Just efficiency. You gotta be nearby. I am in a tunnel. It only has two exits despite its length. It seems highly inadvisable. Human architecture is fascinating. would not be the same, Floyd Laden. I would never ask you to simply look upon renderings of Atlantis. It must be experienced. I kind of prefer pictures, actually. Oh, -ho! new dead shot phobia. Nah, that ain't a phobia. Sharp drop, momentum, gravity, and mass in destructive concert. Ah! <laughs> if only there were enemies here. That would be a splash. <laughs> oh, who's been teaching Shaco puns again? Maneuvering through the air has its advantages. Less land dweller refuse. Much less. as well. Excellent. I hungered for more enemies. Control the flow from within their ranks. Prices are greatly appreciated. I wanted some extra exercise. Hey, Shocky, you want some real architecture? I'll show you all the top brooding and cackling spots in Gotham. Oh, I already have a list, but I would love a true Gothamite's perspective. Quinn's got point on this one. Not many scenic views in my line of work. Can't get spotted. 
Floyd, mate, you ever taken a vacation that wasn't work? Greetings, Deadshot. Where are Harley and Boomerang? Not with you. That's the problem. Boomer, check in. <sighs> ah, ah, what, me? Yeah, see, I ah, had to fight off half of Brainiac's army. Yeah, all on my own. Yeah, me! So tell us all about that big fight just now. Yes, regale us with your tales of glorious combat. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> you see, uh... Take your time, sweetie. Let the mental boomerang make it back. But if Deadshot and Shark can make it, I sure as hell can. Gonna need every drop of speed force I've got. Injured despite your supposedly harrowing battles. Did you not see Harley? Uh, no, I didn't see her through all the uh, bodies. Hey, House, where'd you disappear to? 
Ain't got yourself beat up, have ya? <laughs> Dead shots all. You ain't got no self-preservation, friend. <laughs> of momentum, honey. I do love a convenient point to hurl my body into the unknown. We're finally all here. We can get oh, down to. I almost forgot. There's a big honky. Group of baddies ready to descend on us like fresh meat at the buffet line. So, who's staying to play hero?
Deadshot's combat lessons will aid me greatly here. I am very glad I took notes. Precise timing will be key.
Ripe for harvest. Planet was once a bastion of journalistic integrity. Now look at what's become of it. Journalism is one of the highest callings one can have. To inform others. To shed light on misdeeds. To gossip. Courtly gossip can mean the difference between life and death. Even in my home, the words of Lois Lane and Cat Grant are sacrosanct. Focus, people. Those shark fights do sound pretty cool, though, big man. Move to the engagement zone, Task Force X. Let renewal for my shield. One minute. 
Natural nature is sickening me. My name is Amanda Waller. I am the director of Argus, a division of Homeland Security you've never even heard of. But we've heard of you. And I'm here to make you an offer. You're tenacious as junkyard dogs. Desperate. Hungry. You know how to survive. Now that might make you the kings and queens of Arkham, but outside these walls, the world's forgotten about you. And you're going to spend the rest of your lives picking maggots out of prison meatloaf. I could change that. I could be your way out. A chance to do some good. And if- Hey, Holly Quinn, Arkham Gazette. Just a quick question. What's with the frickin' shark? I uh, would be happy to introduce myself. That won't be necessary, King Shark. This is a microbomb injector from our friends at LexCorp. Stick it in your target's neck, and it's good night. You want this to be where you take your last breath? No? Then help me. I only need one of you. As for the other three, you are dead already. So, show me what you got. So. Sorry. So, makes sense Waller would want the world's deadliest assassin in her pocket. 
I don't know what she wants the rest of you for. Knowing Amanda Waller, it is nothing good. In my experience. What the heck is your experience? And what's a fish doing in Arkham? You got mental health issues, Shark. Generalized anxiety. But I was brought here from my home. The ocean? Bell Rev Penitentiary. Can you all focus for one damn minute. This is clearly a trap. Any of us touch that thing, none of us is getting out of here. Ah, the prisoner's dilemma. What's the bloody dilemma? This prisoner wants out. Come on, Captain. You just got here. I've been inside five freaking years. Feels like I've been stuck in this conversation for five years. Can we please... Oh, so sorry, Deadshot. Are we interrupting your being strapped to a gurney? Isn't Deadshot supposed to be white? Aren't you supposed to be shutting your damn mouth? Kangaroo-looking ass. Because you are Australian. Okay, so are we gonna do the murder each other thing or what? Cause I'll be straight with you, I'd kill anyone to get out of here. I'd kill you, I'd kill myself. Nobody's killing anybody. If no one goes for the bomb, Waller comes back in here, See, she's not dealing with four screw-up psychos. We all get out. So then we... Nothing. Excellent. I have grown quite skilled at... <laughs> Enjoy your nothing, idiots. Maybe you should have spent less time in brain class and more time learning how to pick locks. Because it looks like Captain Boomerang... Shark's right. She played you all. You played yourselves. Welcome to Task Force X. Picking up a bunch of liabilities in Arkham. Ah! Oh, God, there's something in my ear. Did one of you bastards inject something in my ear? In ear CIC comes. Bet we can hear your bullshit wherever we go now. You guys are making a girl miss solitary. 
Still, sure is nice to be out of Arkham. Thanks, douchebags. Well, we could have started a riot like normal people. But no! Everyone's a backstabber! It was a test. A mind game. I do not know if we passed or failed. Well, four exploding heads are better than one. Where are we going, and who are we killing? They geared us up to take on an army. Wait. Is that big drop kit driving the flame and train? I am not. I have never traveled by train before. Ah, oh, brilliant. <sighs> you jinxed it. This ride's like the Aussie. It's old and it stinks. Joke's on you, love. I'm not that old. Sharkman, pull that brake lever. Ah, uh, guys! I thought working together would be a train wreck, and you do not disappoint! Big man. What is it? Can you feel that? Feel what? Is is this a trick? <sighs> Old school. Guess Miss Off the Books got something to tell us. Or she made us a mixtape. Australian. Comms don't function that deep underground, so this tape will have to suffice. Here are your objectives. Here we go. Each of you has a C4 charge in your equipment. Use all of them to detonate the old station schedule wall. Go through. Get to the roof of the building you find. Establish comms with me. Way to micromanage, lady. Task Force X. These are your orders. Ignore them, split up, or piss me off in any way, and I pull the trigger on the micro bombs you so helpfully implanted in one another's skulls. If you survive, we'll speak again. Waller out. I placed my explosive. Try not to get blown up. Three, two, one! Is this some manner of man bat tunnel? Something, I say. Let's hit that junction box and see if we can get through this door. Until we figure out where the hell we are, let's play along with... 
Waller. Oh, is this a superhero museum? Hate superheroes. And museums. <clears throat> I've seen it on TV. It's the Hall of Justice. So let's rob the place! <clears throat> Holograms aren't actual size, Shark Man. I... I know that. Oh. It's magnificent. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's like the 4th of July puked on a museum. You're right. And magnificent. Greetings. I'm Wonder Woman, but you can call me by my real name, Diana. I was born on Themyscira, the secret island home of the Amazons. As a child, I grew up believing I would remain on Themyscira with my Amazonian sisters. That is, until I learned a big secret. Would you like to hear it? I learned that I was the daughter of Zeus, ruler of the gods. From my father's side of the family, I was given the strength to wield my impenetrable gauntlets, my sword, and most importantly, my magic lasso, which compels anyone to tell the truth. How could I remain on Themyscira with all of these gifts? When I learned that your world was still at war, that the strong hurt the weak, I knew it was my duty to help. Despite my mother's concerns, I decided I should join humanity. I would come as a warrior of peace, a protector. I miss my home. But I've made new friends, like the Justice League. There's nothing we wouldn't do for each other. And alongside them, nothing can stop us in our fight for a better world. Bats joins the super team with a whole headquarters above ground? I could tell you their thrilling origin story. At the mood of the time, shark guy. Poor Harley. You think you'd know a guy after you've tried to murder him and his pals for all those years? Now I know what you're thinking. That big S on my chest can only stand for one thing, right? Well, not quite. Believe it or not, until I got to Earth, this wasn't an S at all. Remember how I told you I'm from another planet? Well, on my world, this is my family crest. Pretty neat, huh? I have a new family now. And gosh, a new planet, too. But I still wear this crest, so I never forget where I came from. Well, hi there, kids. Welcome to the Hall of Justice. We've opened it up just for you today, and there's lots of great things to see and do. Wonder Woman's guarding the inner sanctum. Green Lantern's at the Quartermaster area. Or maybe you just want to see Batman's cool Batpod launcher. And in the Heroes and Villains display, the Flash will show off some crime-fighting tools we've used over the years. Along with some pretty weird stuff we've nabbed from bad guys. And this is just this day. Have a super day. When you move as fast as I do, You've got to make sure your gear can keep up. My helmet is woven from a lightweight anti-friction material cooked up by the eggheads at Wayne Tech Labs. Built to withstand the speed force, it absorbs and redistributes kinetic energy as I run. Which is a fancy way of saying, when I'm wearing this bad boy, nothing can slow me down. 
This is the Watchtower, our satellite and space station that helps us, well, watch over this city and many others. We'll know if someone's plotting something devious, if weird aliens show up, or if people are just being jerks. <laughs> Anywhere. I I think of the Watchtower like an all-seeing god, like Hyperion or Thea, that lets the Justice League know where we're needed. Maybe not all-seeing, but a lot. We can't know all your secrets, just try not to turn into a villain out there, got it? We witness not only misdeeds, but we're privy to the good as well. To the aid offered by each and every person. And you should see the view! Think of those telescope and satellite photos, but bigger and brighter and way better! Maybe we can bring you next to her! Ah, uh, 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 space is bad for growing bones. But just know that if you're ever in trouble, we'll be there. Damn League. Bunch of do-good and freak shows in their creepy playhouse. I don't want you agreeing with me, man. Criminals can strike anywhere, anytime. And when they do, I need to be ready. Bat pods are my mobile preparedness units. A little like one of your backpacks. If your backpacks had cutting-edge stealth technology. Bat pods contain everything I need, from my bat suit to my bat gadgets. They can be deployed almost anywhere in the world. That means wherever people need help, I'll be there. Don't touch anything that's gonna set off an alarm. I ain't fighting any supers for you. Ooh, got a real high opinion of yourself, don't ya? Professional gun guy. Nah, just a real low opinion of everyone else. Despite what Flash may have told you, my cowls aren't just a fancy Halloween mask. They're equipped with augmented vision lenses, so I never miss a clue. And a comm link that lets me talk to my friends in the Justice League. Before I joined the League, I relied on these cowls to keep my identity top secret. Each one is lined with lead, so no one can peek under them. Not even Superman. Typical hero crap. Big-ass gold palace to show the world how super they are. Yeah. They'd ever want a nice house to live in. It pales before the majesty of my home. I think this place could fit all the homes I ever lived in. My armor was forged by Themyscira's finest artisans to endure all sorts of danger. It's an ancestral relic, passed down from one generation to the next. Looks pretty tough, right? <laughs> well, it is. <laughs> Machine or monster? Nothing. And I mean nothing beats Amazonian craftsmanship. Oi, Deadshot! Must have stung getting tossed into Arkham, eh? For a pro like you. Sure did. And don't you have a kid? Oh, must be kinda hard to see it. Finish that thought, Boomerang. Go on. It'll be your last one. Hey there, I'm Superman, and I'm so glad you're visiting the Hall of Justice. I come here every day.
my very best friends, the Justice League. Say, now that you're here, I think that makes us pals too. Wonder Woman thought it would be a good idea to... Open our doors and introduce ourselves. First off, I'm not from Metropolis. I'm not even from Earth. When I was even younger than you, my world was dying. So my mom and dad sent me to a beautiful blue planet far away. Some really nice people raised me, even though I came from another world. Even though I was different. I love this world. My friends. And yes, even Batman. Let's make a promise, everyone. We'll always try to help. Always give people a chance, no matter who they are or where they're from. And we'll always watch out for one another.